So the way to get this is if you go to the Epic Launcher and open up the learning tab. Here you can find the actual project and you can create a project. It's only for 4.24. So we will also use this. I went in there and created the actually downloaded the latest version of the framework. It's uh, 2.1 right now. So it's the actual version that just went live yesterday. So you guys can follow along with it. I have created both of the projects. And first of all, here is the one with the with the actual architecture visualization. And here is our framework. The last time I showed you how you can migrate assets from one project to the other with the uh, migration tool from Unreal. This time I'm going to show you a different approach. So we go in there, open up our content folder and there's the AVR framework and I can copy the complete project fold, uh, folder into this content folder here will take some time. Also, we have restructured everything. So now the project is really clean. We can go in there and delete the complete demo space and template folder. And we would save around, I guess, 300. No, 500 megabyte of space. So this could be interesting because for the quest, it's also important that the application is not too big. So we have integrated the content folder from our framework. The next thing we need to do is to copy in our config files. That's the same we did last time. So we open up the config folder from our framework and let's copy the default input. And inside of our Arvis folder, we also have the config folder. So let's open this up and paste our default input in there. This is the file where actually all the key mapping is. So we don't have to go in there and copy everything. And um, yeah, everything we need for the framework to work in VR and in the desktop mode is in there. So that's a very fast way to do this. And now we are good to go. We have copied everything from the framework we actually need. So we can close this. And if I open up the project, at the beginning, uh, you can you may see that ray tracing is enabled, but I don't have a PC with a graphic card that supports ray tracing. So it's really, really slow. And the first thing I need to do is to disable the actual ray tracing. This will change the look of the of, uh, of the scene quite a bit. But yeah, I'm going to show you how, how we can get back to uh, to a nice look again on the quest. Okay, the scene finished open up. And as you can see, if I try to move, it's really, really slow. So let's go in there and disable the ray tracing. We go into our project settings and search for the ray tracing tab and turn off ray tracing. And then we need to restart the editor. And you can immediately see the difference here because everything, all the shaders, all the lights has been set up in order to work uh, with ray tracing. So we need to make a lot of changes in order for this to look good again. So you can see all this uh, reflection surfaces. They look really flat right now. And the light lighting is also completely off. So we would need to change this. But first of all, let's 
do the steps we actually need to integrate the framework properly. We already uh, migrated all the content folders here. So we have everything we need. We also went in there and added our action mappings. So this way we can move. The next thing we need to do is to go our, to our maps and modes. This is the right map. This is fine. We need to change the game mode to be our actual BP game mode main, the one from the framework. And we also need to go in there and here under game instance, we need to add our own game instance. So the BP game instance main. Let's close this down. We don't need all these uh, cinematic cameras in there, so we can go in there and delete all of them. Also, we don't need to have the folder and the level sequences, so let's delete this. We don't need to have the player start because we use our own. So let's do this. Let's search for the player position. Drop it in there. And we also reworked it. You don't have to do any changes in order for this to work with the Oculus Quest. Um, in the last tutorial, you have to che check something in here, the delay, but <clears throat> we reworked it. So you do, don't have to do this. If you hit play now, you can see that um, it's not actually our character that is spawning. So it's this uh, flying one that was in there from the beginning. And the reason for that is there is a world setting override in there. So let's open up the world settings. And here you can see under game modes, there's this override. And it basically overrides our game mode we have defined in our settings. So let's remove this. No override there. And if we play now, you can see there's our character. We can move around, we can jump and we could also interact with things. There's nothing in there to interact yet. We will do this. But basically these are all the steps you need to do for the framework to run in the project. So it's basically you can integrate a framework in like two minutes. It's really a straightforward process.